Hello, this is Frugal. Apologies for the lack of videos on this channel lately, I've been pretty busy. I'm taking a first look here at GameStock Car 2012. Now, GameStock Car is from uh, Brazilian studio, Ritza Studios. It's based around R Factor, so it's using the R Factor G motor and P motor engines, I think, and a lot of the UI elements as well. It was originally developed as a simulation of stock car V8 stock car racing in Brazil. Uh, it's been expanded beyond that. They have Formula Ritza in there, which is basically Formula One, Formula Ritza. They have Formula 3, they now have Camaros in the latest update, Game Stock Car 2012. And if you already own Game Stock Car, this is a free update, so all you have to do is go to the site, download it and go. Um, other than that, you have to buy it, it's about 20 bucks, it's not very expensive. But you can see here we have a lot of the Brazilian V8 series cars in here. They're very, very good looking, even though this is based around R Factor, and R Factor is getting a little bit old in the, and long in the tooth, it still looks pretty phenomenal. The other thing with Reza is they've taken a lot of the add-ons that you would normally get in R-Factor and built them straight into this game. So the real fill uh, force feedback uh, plugin that you have in R-Factor is built into this. They've tweaked the AI considerably and I said in the video I did on Game Stock Car last year that it's probably the best AI sim, the AI, best AI reproduction in a racing sim that I have ever seen. There's one of the new Camaros right there, pace car, very cool. So. Uh, Rather than me just talking about it, oh, actually, you need to see all these tracks. There are a ton of tracks in here that have expanded beyond the base tracks in Game Stock Car. Like now in Interlagos, we have the chicane versions. Every single track in here has multiple variants from ovals to older versions to new versions and so on and so on. Tons and tons of tracks. More tracks that you can download as well from uh, Game Stock Car's website. It's pretty damn cool. So, rather than keep on talking, let's just jump into a car here. I'm um, going to take, I think, uh, one of the Camaros out and we'll cut the video. We'll go on, there we go, the ratty yellow one on the oval track and we'll see what this is like. Okay, being a Camaro, it's a little bit tail heavy. It's not the easiest car to drive. It is one of the new cars in Game Stock Car 2012, so a lot of people are quite keen to see how it performs. So here we go. This is one of my first runs in the Camaro, so I'm a little bit um, loose more loose than I should be. I didn't tweak the car setup or anything like that. But it's good fun, good demonstration of the physics in this. Incidentally, the physics in this is phenomenal. You've got everything good about R Factor tweaked and extended by Rita Studios. So you get full body roll, you get lockups, you get tires and uh, brakes overheating. Everything is modeled just as it should be. It's phenomenal. Oops, a little bit wide into that corner. But we can correct. Uh, bit of opposite lock there to correct the uh, slide. The different track surfaces come into play as well. Some of these tracks in this game have varying track surfaces. Parts of the track will offer you more grip than others. Parts of the track are older and bumpier than others. And that's the same with most of the race tracks in this game, which is phenomenal. Trying to power out of this corner. Opposite lock, opposite lock. Ooh, ugly. Very, very tail, very, very tail heavy, as a classic American muscle car should be. Not that this Camaro obviously is a classic, it's the new Camaro, uh, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. requires quite a lot of practice to really get good in any of the cars in this game. But it is one of my all-time favorite race sims and now it's been updated, it, it's really holding its place as probably my all-time favorite race sim. One point to note out, I do have a bug in this game on my computer currently that the sound kind of goes but 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 and cuts out in places. I don't know why, R Factor and R Factor 2 both do the same thing on my computer as well. I don't know what it's about, no one else has that problem so I have to put up with it. Incidentally, the online side of this is phenomenal. There's a, a very strong uh, online community built around Game Stock Car and Game Stock Car 2012. And the game is endorsed, um, both paid endorsement and uh, free endorsements, by some professional racing drivers. Some of the actual race drivers in the V8, Brazilian V8 series, have said that it's a, a phenomenal sim. Presumably they were paid to do so. But most recently, Mark Weber and Rubens Barrichello have actually been racing in an online league with this game. Um, they're very, very pleased with how it handles and love it to pieces. And I think uh, Rubens was actually thinking of starting to race in the actual Brazilian V8 series. Let's go to the outside view here and you can see some of the lap I just did. Pay attention to the car's position in uh, body height and, and roll as it goes down this racetrack here. You will see it dipping and wobbling as it should. A bit of body roll going into a corner. There you go. Nice little twitch there. Physics modeling in this is phenomenal. Now, as I already mentioned, this is based on R-Factor 1. 
if you have R Factor 1, you'll see a lot of similarities in the user interface and in the graphics out of the uh, cockpit and stuff like that as you drive it. However, it is not an add-on for R Factor 1. It is a standalone game built on R Factor 1 and everything good about R Factor 1. There's that slide. When the sound works, it is pretty phenomenal as well. They've done a great job of capturing the nuances of all the various cars and uh, the environmental effects. You can hear a pop from the exhaust there. The body rolls are trying to position the car going into that corner. Now the real meat of this sim obviously is the Brazilian V8s. So here we are in a Brazilian V8 at Interlagos, just on a test, uh, test lap. The Brazilian V8s, like most V8 race series, like the Australian series for example, very fast, very heavy, brutal and really quite violent. You need to be all over this car to try to keep it under control. But it's such good fun. So it really doesn't matter that maybe many of you viewing this video have never seen the Brazilian V8 series. I had never heard anything about it until this game came out last year. Um, it doesn't matter. It's just great racing. Really, really good, pure racing. Desperately trying to fight the car. Uh, understeer there. There it is. In Brazilian V8s, there are actually only two cars. There's a Chevy and a Peugeot. Uh, both are identical, both are running on an ethanol based fuel and with fiberglass bodies which differentiate the different car manufacturers, they're not um, radically different, they are stock cars, the idea being that all cars are exactly the same. In the sim you have full uh, ability to customize anything about the car, you know from ride height, shocks, uh, gearing and so on and so on, wonderful pit facilities in this game. Love these V8s, they sound great, they handle badly they just really handle badly and it, it does take a lot of practice to actually get good on them but such good fun especially when you get into a race as well now as we come up to the end of this lap at Interlagos I'm going to switch into Formula Ritza which is basically GameStop Cars version of Formula 1 So they haven't licensed any Formula 1 cars in the game. What they did was they took their physics geniuses and modeled a Formula 1 car and put various fictitious liveries on them and stuff like that. It is without doubt, in my opinion, it's just my opinion, this is without doubt the best Formula 1 sim there is. Forget Codemasters, forget a lot of the add-ons actually for our factor. The simulation of Formula 1 driving in game stock car of all things is amazing. The cars are very light, very frisky feels like you're balancing on the tip of a needle at all times when you're racing these things. Brutally fast, um, but very, very grippy with excellent brakes as well. Look, look how late you can break into that corner and still hold that corner. Phenomenal, and it's wonderful when you actually get into a race with other Formula Rita cars. There it is on the outside there. So this color scheme, I chose this color scheme because it's, it looks very similar to Lotus. I'm a huge fan of Lotus racing. Sound is great in this. And there is a full manual you can download explaining how they modeled the physics in this Formula Rita car and the tuning and tweaks that you can make to the car to get the best performance out of it. Now the other open wheeler that they have in this game is Formula 3 based and I think in a second the video cuts over to, the, to that car. And again it's not licensed in any way, um, it's just their approximation of Formula 3 and it seems very good. Anyway let's watch this Formula Rita car for a bit and then I'll switch out. Beautiful sounding car. Here's the Formula 3 car. It's a nice mix. It's a really good car to choose. You know, there's a nice uh, middle ground between the Formula Retail, Formula 1, and the V8s, the GameStop car V8s. It is fairly brutal in terms of its handling and its performance, like the V8s, and it's also very light and frisky, like the Formula 1 cars or Formula Retail cars. So it's a nice halfway house. And some of the best racing I've ever had online has been in this car because it, it's not stupidly fast, but it is very fast and very agile and frisky and you can pull up some great maneuvers in this. 
And the people that tend to race this car online tend to be really into what they do. So you have some good clean racing all the time. Nice reflections there on the body and the nose of the car. You can hear the tires squealing, not as much grip as a Formula Rita car. And again, trying to hold the line badly. start finish line at Interlagos. Oh, a little bit too wide. Seems like a good place to cut the video and show what a race looks like. So this is a V8 race now, all against the AI. And as I said, the AI modeling in Game Stock Car 2012, just like in Game Stock Car, is superb. Some of the most realistic racing you will ever find without having other humans involved. The cars will try to avoid you. They won't just hold a line because they've been programmed to. Oops, broke a little bit late there, approval. They will try not to get damaged. They will try not to cause a wreck. Whereas in a lot of the uh, race games out there, you'll find the cars are actually programmed to hold a specific line. And if you intrude on that line, then you're gonna get your nose taken off. Not the case with GameStop now. These guys, these AI guys, are really, really very realistic. Now, I didn't do qualifying for this race, which is why I'm at the back of the field, but it, I thought it would give you a good uh, glimpse in the video as well of the, the performance of the game. You know, there are 31 other cars in this race. We can see them all up ahead. The AI drivers as well will make mistakes. You can see that guy passed me a little bit too fast. His tail got a bit twitchy. There's a car on my left. He's trying not to hit me. I, I did actually have to back off. Oh, he's losing it. I took to the grass there just in case he did lose it. Amazing racing. Real edge of the seat stuff. Let's get to an outside view here and show you what it looks like from outside. So there's me, car 51 on the back. You can see it's not uniform, it does look like a real race. They're all trying to hold an individual line, trying to get a good position to overtake the car in front, fighting and jostling. And just like any other stock car series, the cars do have a lot of bumping and rubbing with the other cars. It is brutal and violent and uh, a lot of fun, a huge amount of fun. Look at the car bouncing there over the bumps in the racetrack. I think in a minute, when it goes on the start-finish straight, you see the racetrack surface change and it's a much bumpier surface as well, and you'll see the car moving. There we go, see that? Car body is bumping up and down on all those bumps in that old paving slab part of the racetrack. Wonderful game. So once again, this is Game Stock Car 2012, the latest update to Game Stock Car from Rita Studios. If you already own Game Stock Car, this is a free update. If you don't, I think it's about 20 bucks, but you can go and download a 60 minute trial and see what you think before you actually spend some money. Once again, my name's Frugal. Thank you for watching. Please click like if you enjoyed the video and see you soon.